everyone. We are live. Thanks for joining us. And Suzanne, welcome, everybody. Welcome. I'm in. Hello. I'm Suzanne Sheldon. Thank you for joining us. I'm pretty excited about our stream today, Mandy. Me too. I really, really enjoyed this game, surprisingly. So thank you for introducing that to me. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. So everybody, we are here today to play a game of the of Caper Europe. So this is a new edition of a two player game called Caper from Keymaster Games. And I fell in love with this game years ago. It's a two player drafting and area control game. And I just, I fell in love with it. And then, boom, flash forward a few more years. Now they've got Caper You're About. This is on Kickstarter right now, so you can go and check that out if you so desire, and hopefully you'll, you will. But Mandy and I are going to face off here, where we each play a mastermind trying to manipulate yes. a team of thieves so that we can rob different locations. <laughs> and it's it's pretty, pretty darn cool. Um so it's like i said it's two players we've got it set up we are going to be playing through tabletop simulator so forgive a few technical little things that can sometimes happen when we use that platform but uh i think that actually keymaster has done a really great job of creating this module and guess what if you love it you can go play it yourself if you've got TTS. They've got the module that you can go into the Steam Workshop and sign up and subscribe to, and then you have access to it. And right now, uh, there is just the Paris module, but right. coming very, very soon, they've got the three other cities, which adds a little thing to, to mix it up. So lay your bets. Mandy, who do you think? You or me? Well, Who's the mastermind? Everybody who knows me knows it's not going to be me, but I'm going to give it the good old college try, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I believe in you. I'm rooting for you, Mandy. Wait, no. Yeah, wait uh, a second. No, I'm that's, rooting for me. Yeah, that, that's what we're <laughs> Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, so why don't we jump into it? We'll do a little bit of the setup, and you can see the module. I did not do all the setup so that you could see a little bit of it, and we'll go right in. Right. The great news is is this is a pretty straightforward game from a rules and a mechanisms point of view, uh, but in each little individual card and the interactions is where all the magic really kicks in. All right. So, so Mandy, we'll, do you want to take yep, us over? So pop over. Just take a little bit of a pause. Pop over. All right, there we go. Good to go. Great. I love it. Here we are in woo, Caper. I love Mandy. You pointed this out. You should show off the room that we're in because oh, you noticed yes. this before I did. So, if you look in the background here, um, there's a FAF sewing machine. So for those who don't know, I like to sew. And the first thing I was like, oh, a FAF. It's not the one I have. I have a Janome, but... That's very cool. So I'm like, I like that it's in a sewing room. It was calling my name. So very, very happy about that. And hello, Tracy in the chat. See, Tracy joined me the other night for Howler Tau. So <laughs> nice. we're like old very friends well. at this point. <laughs> awesome. All right. So here we are. And what's going to happen is that you can see on the board, Mandy, you can, you can see at the top, right? There's these choose a city. And right now we're just going to play Paris. But Caper Europe, the physical game, will include four different cities. And each one has a slightly different card mix, which changes up the game a little bit. We're going to be playing with Paris today. And how that works is there's kind of a basic setup of cards that are basic thieves and basic gear and then basic locations but then there are uh, location specific cards so we're going to take all the paris cards and just mix them in with their respective decks of whether it's gear or whether it's thieves and you know what hey how about if i flip this over so you can't see it shuffled <laughs> and you're like, oh, look at that top card, right? So before you continue, Susanna, hello to Rogue Six. Hello and Drunken Boxer Films. Thanks for joining. And unfortunately, you have to see my uh, tabletop simulator screen. So I'm very bad with using this program. And on top of it, I'm trying to keep on top of chat. So if I, you need to get something to get closer, let me know. I'm not particularly good at using it, but we'll give it the old college try here. 
You're going to do just fine. I believe in you, Mandy. <laughs> so here we have, I've laid out three different locations, randomized from the basic locations and then the location-specific ones. And we just happened to get uh, two locations that are Paris. And you can see that the locations are marked with the Paris icon in the corner of the card. So that's how you can ex you know, pull the expansions out really easily from each other when you're separating the decks. So let's see, what do we have here? We've got uh, the Louvre. We've got the Gala, mm -hmm. and we've got, of course, the Eiffel Tower. So solid, solid places to rob Mandy. Now, I'm just going to do a quick overview. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail because you'll kind of figure it out as we play. But I'm pulling out some sample cards here. Mandy, I can... Oh, you're so sweet, Mandy. Thank you so much yeah. for rotating it. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is that you'll see that these are three different locations here. And we're going to be vying for control. And ultimately, like, for example, whoever wins the gala will score five points. They will also get extra points for every gem that they've managed to collect. So some bonus scoring there. The way that we're going to work for control of this is we're going to use our thieves. And there's a whole bunch of thieves in the thieves deck. So we're going to be drafting these cards and you'll see how that game flow goes in a little bit. And then each thief has special abilities. Like for example, this symbol right here with the masks, super critical. That's caper. Because the way that we're going to vie for control is this little tug of war track next to each location. So when I play a card that has that caper icon, I get to move the thiefle, thief, thief pull, thiefle, thiefle, there we go, over one <laughs> into my direction. And at the end of the game, whoever has the thiefle on their side of the track is the person that has won that location. So that is just a really critical thing. So now I've got my smuggler there and they'll have special abilities. They also have gear that we will be drafting. And you put gear on top of thieves. You equip your thieves. And they will all also have special abilities. So for example, this card uh, will uh, cost you a coin to play, but you will gain four coins to get it so once you get it. So that's great. Oh, and then this card, the, the Blaze Master will actually let me um, uh, destroy one of yes. Mandy's gear cards on the oh. other side. <laughs> we'll get to that. Oh, yeah, there's a little, little bit of play interaction here. Uh, here's one that will add a caper. I would get a caper for it and will give me one of the stolen goods. You'll see that there are these little hexagons of stolen goods. Those are randomized at the beginning of the game. And this is a good example of if I were to play this card on my thief when I played it, I would get a caper. Ooh, yeah, move that thiefle. And then I would also get one of the goods of my choice. And we're going for set collection there. There are three types. And the more diversity and complete sets you have, the better. So that is a really high level overview of Caper. You play through six rounds, really quick and simple that way. And that is tracked through the round tracker here over on the right or left. Yep. Yeah. And the way that that works is there's these great little indicators on it too, because on this side, we have the thief deck. And on this side, we have the gear deck. And each round, we alternate drafting from those decks. So I think that that's another really, really interesting uh, uh, mechanisms that they put in the game. So, Joe, we are not robbing each other. We are kind of <laughs> trying to, we're like competitively robbing these locations. So kind of like Ocean's 12 style where we're competing to be the better thieves. That's kind of the vibe that I have going on here. All right, Mandy, what did I forget, if anything, that you need for us to do the magic? Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm just going with the flow here, so I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I'm going to deal or try to deal. There we go. Four, car four cards. Okay. And I know it's four cards by looking at the round track. And it tells me four cards from the thief deck. And the arrow's pointing towards me, so I will be the first player here. Oh, wait so a second. Now so someone's talking about the show Lupin, which is on Netflix, which I've been yes. itching to see. So this is like Lupin. This would be a question for Suzanne, because she knows this game better than me, but I'm not quite sure. And hello, Gator Dave. Thanks for popping in. 
Oh, Gator Dave. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like Lupin because Lupin doesn't feel like it's, um, and I don't want to spoil anything. I don't feel like it's competitive thievery in the same way. Right, right. Whereas, like, you remember, what is it, Ocean's 12, where you have the fox uh-huh. and then the ocean team, and they're, like, trying to out thieve each other? That's the real vibe I get here. Okay. All right. I'm going to look through my cards here. Ooh. So you all are, okay, unfortunately, going to see my cards. Um so I say unfortunately because I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> it's okay. You'll oh, get to help Mandy, me mm-hmm. I forgot. We have coins, and I did not deal out yes, coins. We and we can't do anything if we don't have coins. Let me just really quick check. I'm so sorry. Uh, we got 10 coins da, 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 each round. Coins, okay. Welcome. Is it Comey? Good morning. Where you are? So good morning, beautiful party people. I love that. So good morning to you as well. Is it Comey or is it Kumi or Come? <laughs> the, oh, <laughs> wow! All right, that just happened. I don't even know what to say to that. Uh, okay, darn it! I know it's in here. Where does it say? Shuffle, blah blah blah, thiefuls. <sighs> Okay, well, I know we get queens. The robbing has begun, exactly, because none of us have coins yet, so the robbing has begun. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna start stealing stuff. I think it's three. Should we just say three? Everything is in threes in this game. That sounds good. I mean, we can always verify as we go, and if we need to get tossed <laughs> another coin. <laughs> All right, so let's do three. Pretty Mandy, sure I'll give you three. one. Maybe four? Three, th- I think three. All right, we'll take three, three each. Good. All right, because cards do have a cost, um, or we don't start with card. We don't start with coins, and we get them when we play cards. That might be it. Oh, okay. So maybe we need to. Uh, okay. <laughs> do we want to verify? I definitely know how to play this game. I think we're fine. We'll okay. just get them as we go. Excellent. Here we go. Uh, so to that end, I'm going to play. Oh, the conductor! Dun dun dun! And with the conductor, I'm going to play the conductor at. I'm going to play the conductor at the Eiffel Tower. And you'll see the conductor lets me um, gain two coins. So, Mandy, this is where the coins come in. Yes. And I will gain a uh, caper for the conductor, but also now for every green card that I play on him. Okay. So that is that. Now, Mandy, you may draft your thief. I'm looking at cards. Bear with me for a second here. Ooh, I like this one. I forget what things do, but we'll, I'll play it and we'll figure it out as we go. That looks fun and gets me lots of monies. Ooh, I do like this one. Well, 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 well. I'm going to play. I don't really like the situation going on over there. So I, too, will play a card. I'm not happy about what it gives me, but I'm going to play it here. Okay. Yes. So you're Wait, you're fighting for the Eiffel Tower with the cleaner? All right. You get a coin. This is bad. So the the cleaner, you'll note the icon on the top of the cleaner's card has like a red card and then a rainbow card. So that means for every red card paired with any other color card, she will get three points, which is good points. But the bad thing for me, extra bad for me, is red cards are the burn cards. All right, Mandy, we can I, let's I haven't tried this. Okay. And burn cards will destroy my gear. I guess we can just play push the pass cards oh, okay. button. Pass cards. Yeah, Ooh. look at that. What? That worked. That did work. Oops. I had to kind of except one fell down off the oh. table. But yes, good. Okay, no one saw it cuz they're no. looking at my it's end. You're good. You're good. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Okay. So I will And this doesn't move, right? This thingy, the thiefful as we've decided we're going to call you, it. Your thiefful uh, does not move because you don't have any caper. Have it's any, the caper the icon. Kind of symbol. That's right. Got it. That's right. Hmm. I got you. I got you. Wow. Look at this hand that you passed up on. Oh, but she doesn't give you any money. I know. That was the thing. Like, there were some really good mm. ones. But, and then. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, dun. All right. Well, I'm going to play. I'm going to try to play. I don't really know how I feel about that. Oh. The Saint. I did see the Saint. And I'm going to do that. So, oh no, and yes, and then I get three coins. Which is good, which is good. Which is excellent, and I will have a point at the end of the game. Mandy, you may play your card. Well, I have a thing, but I want to play it. Oh, see, I don't want to play it there, though. No, 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 no. Okay, I wasn't going to play there. You know what, I'm just going to go over here and play it there. 
And I'm assuming I get one of these. I get a coin and one of these lovely tiles. Correct. You do. You get to pick any one of those stolen goods because it has the question mark in it. Let's take this one that looks kind of like Nefertiti. And Antiquities. There we go. Excellent. Cool. And now we're... All right. Pass your cards. All righty. Okay. I think I know which one I'm going to here. Do you? You don't know. No, I you don't, don't know. actually, but I do like <laughs> okay. this one. And to be clear, this is going to be the last card that we play because when your hand is down to one card, we discard it. So this is the last card of the round, Mandy. Oh, dear. So and, it's like no oh. pressure. I'm going to play the mime, and I get a caper for that, and I get a coin. That's all the way down there? When did that happen? I don't know. That actually shouldn't oh, be. God. There. There we go. Oh, my God. Wait a I second. think we were. I think I was demoing earlier, like and I didn't use that. Gun, indeed. <laughs> Seriously, that's. I'm gonna win. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, let us play uh, the tourist here. Oops, I mean not on the board. What? And Gosh, Nikes. One, two, three. This was my problem last time. I did not yeah. do enough of that. But you're broke, girl. So whatever. All right, and then you can just in this module you can just discard your okay, just thief like card right below your yeah, like and right there. Hello, eclectic camel, uh, aka David, my video gaming buddy and my other buddy for board games. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. So next round, so that's hey, Mandy. We just played a whole round of caper. Woo -woo. It's that it's super snappy, quick. snappy. So we're gonna move our round tracker down. If I can grab it no no it's it? not this gonna one? oh actually wow. it won't let me grab it either <laughs> uh okay well, folks uh, tts this thing okay what well, help us keep track of the rounds we're gonna move into round two round two again i can tell through this little icon on the round tracker that i'm gonna be dealing out six cards and mandy will be playing first which is good question mark Okay. Sure. Well, this is different this round. So, you know, and being right. so when Suzanne made the comment about me being poor, ugh, it's kind of important because now I'm, I'm going to have to pay for stuff to go out and I just don't have to right. pick of the cards here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a situation. So hopefully you can see that the game has this rhythm where you start putting out thieves and then you get to have gear that you can add to your thieves as you go. Each location has a three thief limit per side and each thief has a three gear limit per thief oh well this is nice i must play this card. Uh oh no wait i don't like that why why is that but don't, I know, don't I be to, excited i know it must happen it it's yes indeed uh oh okay. yes i don't like that i don't like that <laughs> so i'm playing first um but i presume this doesn't stay anywhere but i will double check that so um this one i have to pay a dollar but i want the monies on the top yeah, so you would pay a dollar and then you'd get four back, so. Oh, okay. So technically, uh -oh. I'd pay one, but then I'm going to get yeah. four back. Okay. One, so one, two. Painful. Sorry. Three. Oh, no, because here's where it stack? comes in. Hold on. No, you. The money is limited to uh -oh. 10 coins. You take one from me. Oh, that's never happened. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa. so this card I goes I don't away? like you. This card goes away? Uh, no, the card is equipment, so you okay. put it on so the thief. I can't thief. put it there. No, yeah, okay. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't remember. Okay, cool. You can put it on any of the thieves. Well, I figured this one I need pairs of cards, so let's... I mean, sure. Totally. I was hoping you wouldn't notice that, but yes, that, that would be a move. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play a skeleton key mm. on the... So I'm paying two to the bank, and uh, I will get a caper because it is a green card. And so the conductor special ability kicks in. But then uh, I also will get a token of my choice, a a a um, stolen good of my choice, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that one oh, because yeah, that's, that's its ability. There. I forgot. Yeah, there it is. It does. Oh, yeah, they bad. created like a little. Yes. Uh, the friendship is off. <laughs> the friendship had to exist for it to go <laughs> off. I'm just saying. Wah, 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 wah. All right, let's pass cards. <laughs> All right. Oh, only one of us has to press pass cards. So that works. Yeah, it's a nifty system. I thought when... that I had to press it too, but no, I was just doing it and it just happened to go at the same time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, when Mandy and I played this previously, they didn't have the pass button, the pass cards button. So we had figured out this whole really cool way to pass cards uh, without the fancy button. But oh well, I mean, Keymaster was ahead of us. 
okay. Oh, I know what I'm going to play. I'm playing first, aren't I? It, that's yes. That's, and how that's, many yes. cards? How many equipment cards can I play per uh, thief? As many as I want. Three. Three. Three thieves per location. Three gear per thief. Oh, that's a doozy. Unfortunately, but that's okay. So I'm going to play this card over here for a dollar. Okay. And then I get four back. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, and I wait. Need... Now let me double check the th the this. Stop trying to steal from me, you little. <laughs> my gosh. Oh my goodness. Um, if you have more coins than you, okay, you receive. Okay, if you have more coins than your opponent, you receive no coins, and you are definitely ahead of me, That's so you don't get to steal. All right. No, all right. I think it's fine. <laughs> Jeez Louise, greedy girl. Get bank. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Oh, interesting choice. So you'll notice on the thief old tracks, if you get your thief old at the end of the game and it's in one of the two locations at the end of the track, you're going to get bonus points for that. So um, I'm thinking about that, but I'm also thinking about Liz. So did and you hear this, uh, Suzanne? Uh, David totally blames you because he's now sold on the game. So he blames you for being sold on it. <laughs> I, I am a bad person, and I accept that blame. I think he blames us. Why are you just blaming me? Blame Mandy, too. Uh, no, I had nothing to do with it. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> okay. All right, let's take a gander here. Oh, these cards oh, are oh, not... Oh, did I? Wait, okay, so oh. wait. I played one, two. Oh, I get another caper. I don't... I yeah, got. I forgot about my conductor. That needs to my be conductor. adjusted, but that's a bit of an issue there. So if I want to be really real with y'all about this game... The biggest complaint I have about Caper is as you put gear on your thieves, you cover up their really awesome art. I know. <laughs> the art in this game is so great, but then I got to load them up with gear and then I can't see them. It makes me sad. Very true. Okay. Me first? Yes. Well, I'm feeling rich. Oh, hold on. Of course you are. I'm going to play that one and that's going to cost me... I'm just going to put them to the side here because it takes me forever to get these coins sorted out so that's three coins and i get a mask i don't know what we're calling it and i get a, a treasure of sorts there we go there you go all righty um hello green meeple washington if i am connecting names i know who you are um it i get what you're saying about olympus but I don't, hmm. I, I don't know. They're, they don't feel the same to me, but right. now they don't feel the same to me. Uh, huh. Maybe. Mandy, darn you and your <laughs> coins. What? I can't help it that I'm rich. What? I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> to, hey, what? Oh, please. I don't. You don't. See, everybody thinks, everybody, people don't know you. They think, oh, Mandy, she's so sweet. I like Mandy so much. And I'm like, I mm. am sweet and mm, not very good whatever. game so i deserve a shot here i deserve a shot you do <laughs> you won last game we played whatever shush None it of this. no you did no you did oh i did oh see, yes. I, don't even, I don't even remember wah, wah. <laughs> hey, play your card you you <laughs> mastermind yeah it's not going the way i would like i i have a card here but i don't love it because then I have don't to play, play it. it somewhere that I don't really want to play it because it's like a thing, but it gives me a thing. <laughs> oh, this is so a thing that gives you a thing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this is not going well. Um, I guess I'll play this card. Wait, how much money do I have? Oh, I'm still kind of rich. Okay, I will. It's a good life. I know, right? I don't. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll play this one here. It's actually. Ugh, yeah, it doesn't. It's a terrible card, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's too late. I've played it, so it is what it is. What's done is done. It's done, so I've played it. Uh, that was not the card I should have played, but here we are. So I paid a dollar, and I'm assuming that gets me a point for every blue card on that thief. No, oh. that will get you a point for every blue card in that location at the end of the game. Yeah, well, so it's even I more powerful. Fine. It's hello, hello, Herb Gambit. Thanks for popping in. Well, that's good then. I'm all right. Oh, well, I'm so relieved for you. Excellent news. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're... Oh, oh, da, 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 da. I, I, you're giving me 
angst. I'm feeling, gosh, you're a good thief, and I don't like competing. Um, I'm looking at the chat here. I heard from someone that this is a good two-player game worth looking at. Yeah, I, I like I said, it. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, pass cards. Oh, gee, what am I going to play? Thanks, Mandy. No problem. Um, yeah, Caper's been around for a while, and when Keymaster picked it up, they really made it beautiful in the last edition, and here they are back. Um, if you've played or seen the previous edition from Keymaster, which was also gorgeous, the three things that this new Europe edition updates that I think are really, really positive, one, they tightened up some of the graphic design elements, which is nice. Two, they turned the stolen goods into these randomized tokens at locations that you can get. I really like that. They used to be printed on cards, and as you played cards, you were getting them that way. I actually really like the token system a lot better. And then three, and just really the one that uh, was so great, is previously you would have kind of a um, majority in the cards, with the caper points on them. Now they switch to these tug of war tracks and I gotta say it's brilliant. Um, it addresses some previous concerns around like a player could get super duper ahead and it would be really hard to catch up. And now you've got these tug of war tracks and it just tightens it up so nicely. I love it. Uh, yes, David, uh, Mandy's nice, but she's firmly on team. I do whatever I want. That would be correct. <laughs> Somebody knows you. All right. Yeah, exactly. All right. I will get two coins for that card. And that is the end of another round. Yeah. So this goes away. We are just going to discard if it would let me. Come yeah, on, TTS. It, you can do it. it, it Little fiddly. I not like it. Yeah. When you are close to the pass cards button, I had to like go in a little closer so it would uh, oh, I wonder, take it. I wonder if I can. <gasps> Look at this. I'm a genius. What? Boop. What happened? I unlocked the, I got the thief on the round ah, tracker to move. Next round. Yay! I see, I see, I see. Very cool. All right. We are going to deal. I'm checking the icon here. So now we are going to deal three thieves. Okay. And remember, we only play two. And Mandy, this time you get to go first again. I do like oh, so many good cards here, but I knew this one's really good. So I'm looking at this one, everybody. Because, I mean, it seems to be a thing that I'm doing right now. It's not great, but I also don't want to give away this. Not so good. This would be amazing, but none of that has even happened yet. Ugh, so many things. Okay. I, I will... Son of a biscuit. I don't know what to do here. So I'm going to play the banker mm -hmm. here. And uh, mm -hmm. that gives me a dollar. Mm -hmm. Not 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 my most shining moment, but hey, here we are. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> hey. So oh, I don't know. I've got two good thieves. I got three good thieves, oh. and I don't want to. Uh, Wait till you see uh, what I give you. Uh, 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 huh? Okay, okay, okay. You're a doozy. Um. Yes, I'm going to do this. All right. The smuggler is going to the gala. Give me that good old caper point. Uh. And I'm going to take a beautiful piece of artwork. And now I have one of each token in my stolen goods area. So at the end of the game, that'll be worth some sweet points for me. Uh, All up. right. Here we go. All right. Let's see. I gave you some good cards. Oh, yes. geez, Louise. I know, but it was like the decisions were so hard. Oh, that one is also quite good. That one. Oh. Yeah, collect the camel. I can see that this art kind of feels like Ryan Goldsberry's stuff that mm -hmm. he does um, for Bruggle Brothers. Yeah, it's got I that totally kind of stylish too. look. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, okay. I guess it's points. I, I don't. Okay, I'm going to play the. Wow, this is not good. I'm going to play the artiste, which I'm assuming mm -hmm. gives me points for my. Um, Correct. Goods at, at the, the end, end of the game. game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I will play. I will move this slick looking. Actually, it looks kind of smart. I knew you were going to play know. that one. I, knew. I don't know if I like the barber. It, yeah. The curator in uh, Elder Sons. Yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Got that look. Apologies to anybody that looks like the barber. All right. <laughs> Discard your last one there. Yep. Boom. Third round done. We're flying, folks. That's how quick so and snappy quick. this game is. I love it. All right. We're moving into round four. We're going to deal out. Actually, let me check on this. Six more gear cards, but I get to go first. Yeah, this isn't... Uh... Not going well for me at the moment. <laughs> You're fine. I got four dollars though. I'd like to have. Um, I have two, more money. so you know, <laughs> it's not looking great. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, it's not looking great. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, oh, the tides have turned. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. That no. that sounds quite yes distinctly and, yes bad. And, yes and no. Yes and no. <laughs> ooh, that's ooh, ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. This could go one of two ways i don't know yet i got oh but you know mandy i gotta i feel like i gotta deny draft you on something here well um do it do it give her <laughs> i gotta deny draft you <gasps> oh my gosh that would be so mean if i did this because yeah, you don't even know what i have so just saying oh hush bye hush bye you don't know <laughs> you don't know all right i'm going to play my Great. This actually makes this decision so much easier. <laughs> okay, good. So uh, the Blaze Blaster has the beautiful burn icon. It's beautiful when I play it, not beautiful when Mandy plays it. And I'm going to burn, a.k.a. destroy, yep, this card. the top card on one of her thieves. So I'm going to burn that. Bye-bye. All right. You know... All right, well, that's a thing. So I'm actually going to play, okay, if I can get it to come out of my hand, this oh, fantastic no! burn no! card. Let me just say that little, those funds. And we're going to burn off uh, this sucker right here. So let me show you how bad this is for me. So we're going to get rid of the grappling gun. Unfortunately, <laughs> that also means I lose the benefit I got from the grappling gun, which was the antiquities token. So that actually has to go back to the middle. So she out thieved me. It's like when she broke into my apartment and then opened my safe and took out the Fabergé egg that I had stolen and put there. Burn, You're a real burn. jerk. Seriously. Dang it. Oh, oh my gosh, your hand. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm a little sad about how, the way this has to go. Hey, man. Okay. So, Mandy, this is a really good example and a rule that I wanted to highlight now when we hit this situation. Mandy has how much money, folks? A goose eggs of zero. Zero monies. Oh, no. What do you do? You may discard a gear card instead of playing one to get a coin. One sad coin. But, you know, I'm looking at what you have in your hand here and, like, girl, you had options. You did not have to burn me. <laughs> I sure did. So you, you, <laughs> consequences, actions, welcome. Yeah, I see you. Oh, my All goodness. Right. Coins. I'm going to play that there. So many and coins. And I will get three coins because I was also feeling a little light on money. Welcome, Book of Nerds. Thanks for popping in. Uh, you came at a good time. I'm getting trounced here, but uh, you. I don't. I don't know. You. You know uh, what I have found, and I. I've said this before. If any of y'all listen to the podcast that Mandy and I do together, we do um, alternating episodes of the Dice Tower podcast together. And I've said it many, many times. There, I love two-player games because I feel like that player constraint allows game designers to really make everything very balanced. And so I have found these games typically to end very tightly mm -hmm. from a points point of view, because you're getting points from your stolen goods. You're getting points from thieves. You're getting points from gear. You're getting points from locations. So sometimes these things surprise you. And uh, Gator Dave, she totally had to burn you. We're here for some fire. <laughs> yes, yes. So Gator Dave, you're an instigator. <laughs> Fire instigator. Okay. What you got there? <laughs> this oh. card here. So I have a question. I just, before I played here, um, yeah. is that card that's on there any card or specifically the purple cards? 
so what you want to look at on this iconography, great question, is you want to look at the color of the card. So the color of the card here, um, not the played card, but the icon is the neutral color of the thieves. So this card will give you points at the end of the game for every thief in that location. Ah, got it, got it, got it. So. so it does not it does not benefit you for purple cards. Which is okay, because I need to put it uh is that where I wanted to put it? Uh, yes. Question. Are mark? you sure no, that you don't here. wanna? Put it here. You don't wanna. You remember you got the okay. No, because here is I have two right. So because it's not red, I have the because it's every because I can only put how yeah, many? No, you're... How many can I put? Three. Something? But again, don't forget it's per location, not on that one thief. Oh. So, I see, yes. I see. So you know what? So those scoring cards, it's a, it, yeah. I can understand why it's a little confusing, but the scoring the scoring icons like that are per location. So then I will put it here and scooch that Because up if one. you get another red one, yes. Right. Okay, I see. And I get, always get confused if it's location or card, but I'm like, that would never work out really well. So, yeah. Right. Okay, All well, right. I already know what I have to play, so <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, do you? <laughs> Son of a biscuit, Mandy. I'm so mad at you. Uh, You've, you've ruined everything. You've ruined everything. And I know what you're going to do, and I don't know how to stop you, and I'm so mad. Joe, uh, Joe's saying, uh, be right back. Going to design a legacy board game where you literally burn cards. <laughs> I like it. I'm here for it. I mean, oh, wait a minute. What? Mandy, you don't have any money. Oh, well, right. Let's not rub it in. <gasps> no, that changes everything. I'm going to spend one, two, three coins, and I'm going to put my briefcase. Come on, briefcase. Come out of my hand. Oh, no, not going to come. Come on, briefcase. Come on, briefcase. False bump. There we go. Good briefcase. Oh, you're your Good back, briefcase. <laughs> I'm going to get my caper for the conductor, right? And then I'm going to get to pick a art a stolen good of my choice i will take my thing back and then at the end of the game i will get points for green cards in this location all right, all right mandy what are you gonna do with your zero money that's fine i'm gonna make some money i'm gonna that's right. take this card here if it refuses to come to my hand and throw it over here which gets me two coins two coins oh, and wait for it and uh -oh. because it's a yellow card Yes, you do get caper. Just, Lovely. We just want to try and at least not get that on that extra two points there. So we need to move that up. Fair enough. Good job. All righty. Um, all right. Pass well, cards. I'm a little sad about it, though, because I have some really good cards in there. I got to keep this burn card away from you because now you have to, like, I literally have to play this burn card. <laughs> do you, though? Do you? I do. And so... I will say there is some aggression in this game if you want there to be. So I could play this burn card and I could destroy Mandy's um, money card, her magneto, her super magnet. If I destroy Mandy's super magnet, she would lose the benefit the cards give her, which means she would lose those two coins. That's yes. that that can be. Kamini, right? But, hey, it's part of the game. You do what you gotta do, and uh, a lot of inserting sinister laugh here. Yes, there's a lot of that going on. <laughs> but I'm going to, so I will. Maybe I will regret this. I, I, I probably will. I can't let you have it, but I don't have to play it that way, so I will discard it and take a coin. Well, that's and it is your turn. It's an unfortunate state of affairs. I could I not really let you have it. That was going to come back to me. Alas. No. <laughs> I'm no fool. Are you gave me burn a card and get three more points? Uh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Well, I'm going to play this one. Oh, if I can get it to exit my hand. Yeah. And I'm going to pay those two lonely coins so I can get uh, the one that I'm missing. Yeah. Very nice. Very nicely done. Oh, see? Nice and easy. All right. Last card. We're in pass. What did, I forget. There's one more green one. Ugh. Got the gemsy gems in there. Hmm? How many? This is garbage. I can't afford any of the things here. So it actually doesn't matter at <laughs> this point. Yeah. Save up, build up, I guess. I have. Oh, I had a song come to my head. I have nothing. It's a very Whitney Houston song. I have nothing. <laughs> you are. All right. All right. I will gonna... pay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You go ahead. Yeah. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm going to pay my card anyway because I don't have any money, obviously. <gasps> oh, so. No, I don't want to put it there. Snakey Mikey's actually. Um, 
Can I take my move back? <laughs> no, because I played my card. All right. I didn't Son of a biscuit. Play. All right. Fine, meanie. I'm going to take my caper. So David's like, uh, wait, are we supposed to hold back? I never got that rule. <laughs> evil. Just I mean, evil. I do have to spend a lot of time with Mandy in a given week, so I better be a little nice to her. Exactly. So smart up, David. Smarten up. I can't shoot you with Destiny because it's, uh, you know, group friendly. So don't, <laughs> don't start it. <laughs> All right. We're down to round five. It's very, very quick. We get dealt two thieves. We pick one, play it, and then discard the other one. Um, I believe I get to go first, oh, which does really good. matter because Mandy can really react, right, to where I go and what I choose to do. Um, so I... I'm concerned now, actually. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, baby. I'm concerned. I'm going to play the Colonel here. Which gives me a caper, which does not matter, apparently, because I'm all the way to the end of the track. All the Mandy? way to the end. This is brutal. All right. Your turn, my dear. So I'm going to play. This is the last one I can play here. The Gentleman. And I get a coin. Yoink. Oh, wow. Look at that. Card. Not a bad card. I didn't want to play yeah, it Yeah, especially but... with what you're... Well, especially with what you're yeah, building up here. It kind of was worth it, so... Although the red cards don't count. I know. I was going to put it somewhere else, but we don't have very much time left, and... No, we don't. Looking at it, I do have more stuff's happening. So, and uh, this last card is gone. Yes. Yep. It's that's it. Dang, yep. that was. That's super fast. so you end up with a total, right? You always end up with just a total of six thieves that you're spreading between three locations. Jeez, I forgot how fast this plays. This is a problem. So we only got it's, the two thieves, yeah. and then we get more. Oh my goodness! So we're in the last gear round, Mandy. You do get to go first. And this is a game, folks. It plays so quickly. But keep in mind, like, for example, um, I don't, I don't, it's, it's hard because the icons get covered up. But, like, we're playing the Paris scenario. So a couple of the locations we have are Paris specific. Right. Uh, some of the cards that we're playing with are Paris specific, which is really, really cool. Um, and you, I think you can see where the variability comes in in terms of locations and how the thieves play out. I think it's so cool. Son of a biscuit. Is it me? It's me. Same one. It is you. You get to go first this right. round. Well, let's just make it, you know, easy breezy cover girl kind of thing. And we're going to go here. Because I think that's the last card I can play there. And Correct. And I'm going to get two coins and at least prevent you from getting one point. And you get a caper. <laughs> yeah. So, nice. I mean, it's just one, but hey. Nice, one. nice, nice, mm. nice, nice, nice. Well, I... I wonder, should we be? I only have one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, this is I'm... tough because uh, it's like you don't want to give stuff away, but at the same time, you want to get stuff. And oh, I'm confused. Uh, 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 this is all right. So, Chad, oh, how are you enjoying this so far? I mean, I know it's kind of hard. It's, it's tabletop simulator, but it gives you an idea. But what are you feeling about the game so far? Is this something you think you would play, or you're like, nah, it's not for me? I mean, I'm really enjoying it. I didn't think I would, to be honest, and I, I really like how it plays. Yeah, I thought about that one, too. Ugh. Yeah, I got to pay for it, though. One. Good card, okay. though. Good card. All right. You ready? Pass. Uh, okay. Pass. And there we go. And Boxer Film says it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's great. I definitely think a lot of people, this will appeal to a lot of people. Yeah, it's it's if you if you play two player games and you don't mind a little bit of player interaction or conflict, it's so good. Gravy. And I think like the Kickstarter version is really fancy. I think they've got metal coins, which is nice because you only have wow, ten nice. that you share back and forth. And I so like m making them all fancy and deluxe. I think is really really cool. All right. So is it me first? Why do I? I yes, you yes, you get to play first. So I'm gonna yeah, play. To I just have to first. determine where I'm playing it. I mm -hmm. just realized that card sucks over there. I should not have put it there. Well, here we are. So I'm gonna put this here. And oh, $8. okay. Okay. And nice. Get a painting. Get a painting because so this one here does it have? Is this anywhere? This one here, where sorry, where I get a point. For... At the end of the game, you yeah. will get points for every one of your stolen okay. goods tokens. So I get a painting from here to do this. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so oh. that you. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Just. Uh, oh no. Yes. 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 No, okay. that's correct. That's one hundred percent correct. Yes. Sorry. Gator Dave says, I think I'm still a Burgle Brothers guy. I love the spatial element and trying to avoid the guards, but this looks fun. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, Burgle Brothers is like, I find that's a, that one's a little more intense, I find, for me. It's good. I like it a lot. But it definitely, it's just a di different part of the brain for me. So, but Book of Nerds, thanks for popping in. We appreciate it. 
I'm concentrating. I can't even. I gotta. I gotta focus. Well, I don't think I I'm winning focus. this. Let's be clear. <laughs> you see, this is the problem. Like, I can't compete with this. This is what got me last time. I, I would. I would just say, okay, I'm gonna pass cards. Just remember, there's so many things that score points. You just, you never know. I love Burgle Brothers too. Yeah. And and I mean, it's it's cooperative though. Right. And here we have a competitive game. And I think that this plays a lot quicker, mm -hmm. which so if you've got, you know, not a ton of time, um, right. this is a nice option it. for a quicker game for All sure. Right. I got a game. Let's give her. So I'm going to pay this you play, this let's one, give her. <laughs> pay one. And uh, I get a do that. OK, cool. Ah! I need Stop to get it. it out of there because otherwise you're getting all the bonus points and I'm getting nothing. Hmm. But all right. Well, I don't. I think I have to play. I think I have to play this. Yeah, you need monies. You need the funds. Because I need monies. Yeah, one, two. Oh, That's monies. it. Shouldn't thieves stick together? Absolutely. Yes. Oh. I think that's a vicious rumor. Sucky do. I don't know what to do. Oh, I see. I kind of want to play that, but that's also nice. But this gives me better options but let me know if you have any questions about caper and i'll do my best to answer them um oh i need yeah. this card i'm assuming it's groups so the, the gentleman suzanne is that groups of those cards so i get four points if i Correct. have okay yeah so that that makes For my green purple and yellow easier to what i want to play so i will play yeah you want a green card yeah 100 exactly. percent. yeah let's pay that so I gotta oh see this this is a lot of points Mandy, yeah, but it's not. It this is a lot, a lot of points. Go the way. And do I have to? I'm assuming I have to take it from the area that I placed it. Correct. All right. Correct. It, I mean, a, a token's a token, girl. Uh, it's a point for that at least. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this nice. just More there. Things. It doesn't. I don't think. Yeah. Nothing matters here. So I get to take a thingy of my choice. I'm gonna take the gem because mm -hmm. it's so pretty. Yeah. Sparkling. There we go. All right, pass cards. We're down. Last card. Wow, this is. Oh, gee, whatever am I gonna do? I mean, it's good for you. Mine is terrible. I mean, like I have no money, so I have one option, and that is to oh, yeah. discard and get a money. So. Okay. Wah, wah. And in this case, did not go well. Wow. In this case, I don't have anything. This was this is a weird one. I don't have anything to move the dial on this on on the gala. <laughs> I don't think I can make the gala happen. David, when you say foghorn, do you mean air horn? <laughs> foghorn. <laughs> Foghorns are more like wee. <laughs> it's like that Simpsons episode where he's trying to put Marge to sleep. He's like, "Let me make some soft soothing sounds for you." And he's like, Wee -oo, wee -oo. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, I see. They added a next. I I figured it out. All what? right. Oh, you figured out the button. I figured out why the thiefel was locked. Um, it's because they added a next round I button, see. and I didn't notice it Got until it. right then. All right. So uh, they do have a score pad here, and I think we can type in it. Okay. Maybe. Yes. Okay. So. What we're going to do is we're just yeah. going to go through. So first, we're going to score location control. Yeah, this isn't good folks, for me, everybody. The game is over. We did it. Look how pretty this game is. So, so look and how cool this is. The first scoring is not going to go in my favor, FYI. <laughs> right. Okay. So I definitely have control of um, the Louvre yep. and the Eiffel Tower. And nobody controls the gala, which is a real bummer for me. All right. So the Louvre. I get three points plus two, so that's yeah, five. So upsetting. And Paris, I get three plus none. So good job there, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, well, I tried. I tried. All right. And now we are going to score our thieves. So any thieves that score points will do. So, for example, let's start with me, Mandy, if that's okay. Yeah, so yeah, here I have the mime. The mime will score here, one me, point. Uh, swing around here so we can get a better view of your card. <laughs> Oh. Hold on to your hold on to your lug nuts. There we go. Is that a DLC version or from the workshop? This is from the workshop. So if you go to the Steam Workshop on um, Steam, 
<laughs> Where's that again? Yeah. If, if you go to the TTS workshop on Steam, <laughs> you can subscribe to the caper module there and load it up and give it a try yourself. I've been told they are adding the other cities as, as so that you have some options to try the other cities as well. Mandy. <laughs> All right. The mime gives me one point per thief in that location. I have one, two, three thieves, so I will get three points. Nice. But none of my other um, thieves score points. So, Mandy, we'll go to you. Oh, good gravy. Okay. Hold on. Hold I'm not going to swing this go. again. I'm just going to leave it. I wasn't sure how we were going to do this. So. Oh, my gosh. This is so awkward. There we go. Okay, I won't do that because it actually makes me dizzy, so I will just leave it on my side for now. Holy <laughs> moly. Okay, so yeah. um, let's start over here. So this is not scoring anything. Yep. This one right. here, um, I'm going to get uh, a point for each of my stolen goods, so I have a total of five. Correct. Excellent news. And then the banker doesn't do anything because I do that in-game. <laughs> this one here, unfortunately, I only get three points. <gasps> oh, only. Okay. I know, but this one. <laughs> yeah. That's a big one because I have three sets, I think. Or two sets, excuse you, me. No, you have two sets. Two sets slow two sets, two sets, slow sorry, yourself two sets. there, friendo. Two sets, two sets, still eight points. Hey. So you have 16 thief points. I had three. Ah, Let's just say that didn't go so good. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and look at gear that gives you points. So, Mandy, for example, right here. You're going to get one point for that one. So that's every, uh, unfortunately, this did not score well. I only have the one. I kind of just that's pumped right. it all into this area here. So that didn't really work. So you out. get one point there. And, I think that's uh, it. and then you have one point oh, here. Oh, and one point there. I didn't see that one. So you get two points there. Yeah. I, and don't, don't swing. Yeah, we'll just. I'll just, just trust me. Yeah. I have one, two, three, okay. four points here for the various things for uh and then i get uh ah. five six seven Jeez, points that's pretty pretty good hey uh, we're working it we are tied mandy we are tied yeah but this is where things get not so good <laughs> well and i uh, yeah uh well and also we did forget to score one thing but we will go back to it yeah. not big deal all right so gems um the way that this works is that it is set scoring so um and I'm trying to see if this... Oh, I should have discarded this. This should have gone. Okay. okay. So we scored in sets. So, uh, Mandy, you have... Do, do, do. You have one full set, which is nine points. But then individual ones are two points each. So this is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 points for you in your gems. Not bad. And thanks to Amanda Panda for hosting. Welcome. And thanks for the host. Much appreciated. And I only have 11, but mm, here it is. Um, we did score your artist. Yes. We didn't score the location bonuses. So I will get two points for every painting I have. See, this is where I lose it. This is where I lose it. Every and time. I will get one point for every, um, uh, token I have. So I get four more there. Uh. That's where so I, I actually it. had 14 there. So that, folks, is our final score. But Mandy, it was so close. 35, <laughs> 31. That is our final score oh, for our game boy. of Keeper today. Well, let's, let's switch on over to the, the main scene here. Let's give that a second. There we go. Wow. So close. So close. Oh, mind you, it was... It, I always... I never concentrate on the the push and pull between the locations and that's really important i find in this game i, I would agree i i mean one more token or like if you had gotten a different token other than a painting or if you had just gotten one more red card yeah, that uh, it could have it could have swung so i feel like it was very very tight and very very close yeah or i mean if you'd managed to just get one one movement, one caper in that center location in the last round. Just, right? Yeah, and I just couldn't make it. I had to five make five points right? right there. You would have won. I know, but Ooh. choices, choices. <laughs> it was a choice. But good game. <laughs> yes. Sports, you know, good sportsmanship. Good game, Andy. Yes, great game. I'm happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, thank you so much for joining us to play or to watch us play caper. 
hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful game um, and enjoyed the, the tension between the two masterminds. Mandy, I will wear the mastermind crown today, but I promise I will give you a rematch opportunity if you want one in the future. I feel like uh, it's Keymaster Games. Uh, yes. I think they may provide you with a special crown, which I think would be amazing. That would be so good. The caper crown. I, yeah. Well, I think we should write them, right? And say, exactly. this is something that your game needs, right? <laughs> something fancy that way. So, yeah. Or like a Burger King crown. Exactly. Right? Wouldn't that just be like a paper crown? That'd be great. That'd be amazing. Love it. Folks, this game is on Kickstarter. You should check it out. Um, I can tell you, uh, Keymaster Games, right? Publishers of games like, oh, Parks. Hello. Yeah, Parks so so if you're cool. curious about aesthetics or component quality, that alone should let you know it's going to be great. I have the previous edition from Keymaster of Caper because that's when I fell in love with it years ago. It's lovely and wonderful. I do really, really like the changes that they've made in this new edition, especially that tug of war track. I just love it. Yeah. But, um, Kickstarter, check it out. If you've got two players, if you like this drafting and area control with some fabulous art and great component quality, yeah. it's definitely a really, really good one for you to check out. Caper, Keymaster Games, Kickstarter. Mandy, I had a great time. Thank you so much for playing with me. I did too. But before we go, is there someone we should raid? This is a thing that I've now discovered. Mm. And uh, if anybody knows anybody online that we should raid, I don't have my phone in front of me. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking. Then that way we can see. Everybody can... I follow is offline. I know, right? Isn't that like you're like, wait a second. So I'm trying to see, but I don't know. It's too bad. Uh, Collective Camel much. says Jess CCG is on. Okay, so let's let's do that. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Thing. Raid them. Well, come on over. We'll swing on over. Spread the love. Spread the board gaming goodness, right? Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Jess, hold on. Hit hold us on. up I'm on slow. social media if you have questions uh, about Caper at all. Check it out on Kickstarter. Hit up Keymaster Games. They're really, really responsive on social media as well. This is a thing. Apparently, I'm really bad at this, but I hope that's right. <laughs> Oh, no. Did I do it? What, there we I go. Did. There we go. Perfect. All right, folks. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, everyone. We loved having you. And we right. hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much. See you.